Hello, my name is Michael Dadd. I'm part of the uh, cryogenics uh, team in Oxford University. Uh, we have traditionally been worked on uh, Stirling cycle coolers for space, but we have been looking at uh, extending this technology to other applications. Um, particular interest to, to us is uh, the use of this application, this technology in uh, sustainable energy applications. Yes. The benefits of the Stirling engine in the context of renewable applications is that it's probably unique amongst uh, engines in being able to use very uh, unrefined fuel sources. Uh, it, it, because it's an, 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 uh, an external combustion engine, um, it only requires a source of heat uh, to, to operate and uh, in, a, in the sort of power range of about 5 to 10 kilowatts, it's capable of actually giving an efficiency of about 40%. It is very difficult to do that with, with any other type of engine. Uh, a steam engine can use a, a, um, a source of uh, external heat, but it will not achieve that efficiency. Um, so that, that is the attraction of it. It is a, a very attractive means of turning um, any source of heat, so a source of energy, into a usable electrical power. The challenge for, these, for the development of a Stirling engine in the context of sustainable uh, energy sources is to uh, develop an engine that is both efficient and also um, cost effective. And to be cost effective it's got to be uh, reliable and have sufficient long life um, to, to, so that you don't spend too much on maintenance and things like that. Now, Stirling engines have been used in, a, uh, in renewable applications, or at least they have been um, developed for this application, and there have been a number of instances where they've failed. And it does seem that in many cases the, the problem has been um, lack of reliability and maybe the, the costs associated with maintenance. Uh, the maintenance that has traditionally been associated with Stirling engines is the uh, replacement of seals that are essential for its, for its, uh, um, for its operation. Um, th these traditional Stirling engines have wearing seals. They, they have rotating crankshafts, they have oil knocking around in them, and these seals are very um, necessary for keeping the oil out of the uh, high temperature components. The technology that Oxford is developing um, uses an oil-free technology, so there is no oil in the in the engine. It is based on entirely linear motion. The the uh, regenerate the generators, the pistons, everything is into, is moving in just a linear way. So there's nowhere there's um, there's no life um, limiting processes going on. Uh, this technology was developed for space uh, for for low temperature coolers. Um, and in space, cost and production is, is not an, an issue. The, the challenge that we have for this, this application is to produce low-cost low engines and to find, out, find ways of actually making them in large enough numbers. Uh, it, we're at an early stage in the development of, this, in development of this engine, but I think at the moment we're very optimistic that we can make good progress.